me nga. Kahit matagal nag- magtanong si Senator Riza, we never dared to ask him to stop asking questions. Who are you? Who are you to ask to tell us to stop asking questions? Remember, if one of us tells tells the sponsor to defer the budget of DOT, what will happen to you? Pumalag ang mga senador dahil sa inasal ng isang secretary tungkol sa deliberation ng budget. Ang gusto kasi mangyari ni Secretary Wag na magtanong pa at tapusin agad at aprobehan na ng mga senador ang budget ng ahensya. Dito nagalit si Senador Jengoy Estrada at sinabihan niya ang Secretary na sino ka para utusan kami mga senador. Dagdag pa ng senador trabaho nila na alamin kung saan gagamitin ang pera ng taong bayan at alam nila ang kanilang ginagawa kaya wag daw umasta ang secretary na parang tauhan nila ang mga senador at unfair naman yan sa mga ibang agencies na binusisi nila ng gusto. Pero agad naman humingi ng tawad ng secretary, narito panoorin natin at kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito subscribe ka na at e-like ang ating video kung nagwastuhan mo para updated ka palagi sa mga balita dahil iba na ang may alam. Imagine telling the Senate President, we've been here at 1 o'clock waiting for... Uh... DOTC, DOTC's budget to be heard. We've been here since, we've been working since uh, last week, deliber deliberating on all the budgets of the departments here. And telling the min uh, deputy minority leader to stop asking questions, kami nga, kahit matagal nag magtanong si, si Senator Riza, we never dared to ask her to stop asking questions. Who are you? Who are you to, ask, to tell us to stop asking questions? You cannot do anything. You cannot do anything here. If I move to, to defer your budget or to slash the budget of DOT because of your actuations and because of your actions towards my colleagues here, what will happen to the budget of DOT? Imagine even Senator Pia Caetano, you've been texting her even before. That's what I heard from her. Regarding E.J. E. Obiena's performance, she's a senator, she's a lawyer, she knows what to do. She's a senior member here in this August chamber. You've been a member of PSC, am I right? So you know the, how the budget runs here in the Senate, or even in Congress. You, you know, we, we spend three hours of the morning here. Am I correct? And why are you complaining? The secretary is not complaining. She is a new fight secretary. She never complained. Who are you to complain? The secretary is a good friend of all senators here. She never complained. Kahit siguro alas stress na mahir yung budget na DOT, hindi magre-reklamo yan. Because she knows what's happening here in Congress or in the Senate in particular. I think our colleagues, this, you, uh, they deserve an apology from you. If, uh, if, this, uh, if the majority leader and Senate president uh, will allow us to suspend the rules. And, uh, yes, actually, just to put it in proper perspective, my dear colleagues, um, for the information of the departments, we're just doing our constitutional mandate of hearing all the budgets and asking diligently where the funds are being utilized. We have no right to stop any member of the Senate to ask questions, propose amendments, and as Senate President, I will never do that to any of you. So it, it was very surprising that uh, this person, Ma'am Cynthia, who's a friend of mine, we're family friends, and if it was just me, I would just let go of it. But when I heard that you were texting other members of the Senate, particularly more insulting messages to Senator Risa Ontiveros to stop asking and stop asking the budget already of the DNR because, you know, you want to take over, uh, you want the DOT to be next in line. That is not proper. That is inappropriate. Uh, and I think uh, the, bad, the sad part about it is she does not know you from Adam. So it is like a text from no, from... It's like a uh, angry 
uh, text message from an anonymous person, which is, again, as I mentioned, inappropriate. And so I would like to ask the majority floor leader and the body to allow, please, before I do the motion, to allow to spend the rules so that uh, she may address us if she wants to apologize or not, because it is quite insulting to the members of the Senate. And we're not doing this to trample on anyone's rights. It's just that we are all working very hard. And the, the good gentleman from San Juan is absolutely correct. We've been here in the morning and we've been doing this for the last week. It's our eighth day, oh, sorry, our seventh or sixth day of doing this at going home at two in the morning. So eighth day? It's our eighth day, my, my apologies. And we've done almost all departments. So my colleagues don't deserve that. My colleagues, never mind me. You can insult me, you can get mad at me, but my colleagues do not deserve that treatment. From members of the government who are actually trying to sponsor their budget. And uh, and so before I Mr. make President, motion. Uh, be before I recognize our deputy minority leader, I, I did not get any text from, from this uh, certain uh, head of the agency of uh, PRA, Mr. President, but I just like to, wanted to put on record my utmost dis disgust, dismay, and disappointment, especially coming from a fellow government official. Mr. President, I take offense. Even though I did not get the text, I take offense being a member of this institution, and uh, I joined the gentleman from San Juan and our Senate President, and uh, remind our colleagues, not only in this August chamber, but also every single government official. Mr. President, I haven't seen my kids and my wife so have I. for so many days, for, yeah. for, 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 for more than a week now. Senator Jingoy's wife is celebrating her birthday today. She, he couldn't even go home. And then someone from uh, a public official would dare to question our duties and responsibilities our work here in the Senate, it's, it's, it's uh, unacceptable, Mr. President. So even if the distinguished uh, head of PRA is not willing to answer or apologize, I think we should uh, hear from her, Mr. President, what, what, what she wants, what she wanted to happen, how she thinks this uh, uh, Senate as an institution would be better if we will uh, succumb to whatever she wants, Mr. President. So, Mr. President, with that, I, I, I will support any motion to suspend the rules, uh, if there be, but uh, for the meantime, we will uh, yield the floor to our Deputy Minority Leader, Senator Risa Ontivero. Our Deputy Minority Floor Leader is recognized. Salamat kaayo, Mr. President. Uh, ugdaghang salamat, uh, Mr. President. Maraming salamat uh, kina Senator Jingoy, um, Senator Nancy, who took immediate action on this when I brought it to her attention, uh, to Senator Pia, the Majority Leader, uh, all colleagues who uh, came together this midnight uh, to make things right. Um, sa huli kasi, uh, higit sa lahat ng kulito sa respeto. Kasi uh, hindi po tayo gumagamit ng sense of entitlement. Ginagawa lang natin at ginagawa namin dito sa Senado ang aming tungkulin, ang aming mandato. I am a member of the minority, a proud member of the minority, and I take offense if our modest Senate President will not, at the Senate President of our institution being texted uh, such messages. Um, salamat kaayo to Sec Frasco for her apology and the apology as well of another official of the DOT who met us um, uh, in front uh, near, near the lounge. Um, I heard the apology uh, of the person concerned, but I think moving forward, uh, words must be followed by action. Uh, pagwasto sa ginawa niya. Hindi lang sa ilang individual natin, pero sa buong 
institution natin. So I hope things can be set right uh, in the next days. At hindi lamang sa Senado, pati sa publiko na sumusubaybay sa trabaho namin uh, over the past two weeks. They at least, I think, appreciate the seriousness with which we do our, our work. Ano man ang oras, gano man kami, kapagod o hindi pagod. Dahil sa huli, higit sa lahat, tungkol sa respeto. At ang respeto ang binibigay ng mga senador sa aming trabaho. Salamat ka, Ayaw, Mr. President. Thank you very much, um, Deputy Minority Floor Leader Riso Antivalos. So, if uh, the body wishes, and I believe the body wishes, we move to, with the permission of the body, we move to suspend the rules and ask her uh, if she has anything else to say to the body. Mr. President. There is a motion. Suspension. Session suspended for one minute. So, Mr. Majority Floor Leader, Mr. President, better that we allow the head of the agency. That's, that's what I'm going to uh, uh, move, Mr. President, uh, to move that we uh, suspend the rules of the Senate to allow the head of the agency to uh, take the floor, Mr. President. Uh, I so move, Mr. President. There being no objection to the motion, motion is approved. So the, the, the rules are suspended to allow the secretary to um, sit down and uh, and on behalf of her agency, maybe explain. Good morning, Mr. Senate President. Good morning, And to the members of the Senate, first of all, allow me to express my gratitude for your service to our country and to make things quite clear that the Department of Tourism fully respects the constitutionally mandated duty of the Senate to deliberate upon the budget of all agencies, including the DOT. We respect your mandate, we respect your discretion, and we fully appreciate your exercise of your duty even now to the wee hours of the morning. That being said, I share in your shock and dismay at the highly inappropriate, unacceptable, and out of line actions of the head of the Philippine Retirement Authority, the recently appointed GM Cynthia Carrion, who at the beginning of this day also actually approached me and demanded that we be placed first as far as the schedule of the deliberations of the budget, to which I immediately replied to her to say that we cannot do that because the Senate is an independent body and we must fully respect their schedule, their discretion, their time. We wait like everybody else because that is, we are in their house. Notwithstanding that, imagine my shock and complete and utter disappointment when I learned that she, in defiance of what I had been very clear to her about, proceeded to send these inappropriate text messages. Upon my learning of these actions, as brought to my attention by Senator Nancy Binay, to whom I am very grateful for letting me know, I demanded that she issue an immediate and personal apology to all of the senators, including the good Senate President, for having acted at the height of impropriety, and also to make very clear that she acted on her own and without the imprimatur of the Department of Tourism or any other attached agency or official of the DOT. That being said, Mr. Senate President, she earlier apologized personally to the senators. Nevertheless, as a tacit manifestation of our commitment to set things right, I have already ordered my chief of staff to immediately conduct an investigation into her actuations and subsequent findings of the same to meet out the appropriate penalty that is 
appropriate to the impropriety of her actions. To close, since I am the head of the Department of Tourism, of which the PRA is an attached agency, I would just like to emphasize our due respect to the Senate and to your exercise of your duty. We yield to your discretion, and we thank you for your patience. Daghang salamat. Thank you very much, uh, dear Secretary. And I, I accept the apology that she gave earlier. I, we just wanted to put it on record so that the other agencies would know and all the other members of this government would know that we are doing this not out of, not to spite any government agency, but this is, again, as you mentioned, a constitutionally du uh, mandated duty for us to see each and every budget of each and every agency to make sure that the funds are spent effectively and efficiently for the people. And so we thank the good secretary. She went to see us earlier inside the lounge and she apologized on behalf of the agency. And it is in, in no way, secretary, uh, a reflection of your job. You're doing a great job as secretary of the Department of Tourism. As I said, almost everybody here, not everybody loves you and supports you and the department and the great men and women of the Department of Tourism. You're doing a great job for the country. Keep up the good work. So let not this uh, incident tonight, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, frustrate you and just keep sold, soldiering on. But uh, once again, thank you for that statement, Madam Secretary. And I believe uh, we can already uh, uh, withdraw the, uh, the suspension of rules. Mr. President, uh, be before I make that motion, Mr. President, and we... Uh, would like to spread into the records how we continue to respect the secretary of the Department of Tourism. We still believe in her. We trust her judgment and competencies. May I just put into the records, Mr. President, what uh, RA 6713, Section 4, Letter B, or the Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees calls on all public servants to be professional. And let me put on record, Mr. President, it provides, and I quote, professionalism. Public officials and employees shall perform and discharge their duties with the highest degree of excellence, professionalism, intelligence, and skill. They shall enter public service with utmost devotion and dedication to duty. They shall endeavor to discharge wrong perceptions of their roles as dispensers or peddlers of undue patronage. Just wanted to put that on record, Mr. President, as, uh, as a member of this August Chamber, as a fellow public servant, Mr. President. That is the code of conduct and ethical standards for public officials, RA 6713. Mr. President, at this juncture, I move that we... Uh, uh, Withdraw the, withdraw the suspension of our Senate rules and allow again the uh, sponsor of the measure, Senator Nancy Binay, to, to uh, uh, defend the measure. There being so objection to the motion, motion is approved. Oo nga naman, bakit naman ganun si Secretary lahat naman siguro nagmamadali at may mga appointment pa ang bawat isa. Tinanggap naman ang apologize ni Secretary ng mga Senador. Kayo mga bay ano ang mga upon you nyo ay lahat na sa comment section natin at babasahin ko yan isa-isa. Thanks for watching.